Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for watching my last video. Um, today I'm going to talk about my favourite director. Um, modern director. Well, maybe he's my favourite director overall. Um, Guillermo del Toro, who um, most of you will know who he is because he's pretty much a big deal. Uh, since doing Hellboy and now working on The Hobbit. So yeah, I'm going to go through... I think I have all his movies on DVD. He's done more than this, obviously, but I don't think he can get hold of the other ones. Probably in Mexico. Or Spain, but nowhere else. Anyway, let me start. Okay, the first movie he did was Kronos, which is um, was his first movie he directed. It's an awesome story, uh, an awesome modern take on the vampire myth. This back for you. Uh, it has this funny little like spider jewel thing. I don't know if you can see on the front cover of her neck. A weird little thing. That this guy creates um, or finds, I think it is actually, and it infects you with a disease like vampirism. Um, and the powerful thing about this, which really showed uh, Del Toro was just amazing at what he did, was a relationship about uh, about a grandfather who gets infected, and his um, his uh, granddaughter Aurora who tries to keep him alive, because I'm sure, I don't know if she understands what's going on, but it's just the, the power between those two and, and childish fears about as you grow up and be a teenager and realising your parents aren't as bomb-proof as they were when you were a child. It touches on it all, and of course I think Ron Perlman's in this one as well. Sure he is. Yep, Ron Perlman's in this. Any movie with him in is, it, I'll, I'll watch. <laughs> so yeah, that's Kronos. Awesome movie. Which I'm probably going to say about all of them. Um, next, he did Mimic, which you can get on DVD. Uh, quite easy to come across. I know there's quite a few sequels. I think there's four sequels. This stack. Um, haven't actually watched this one yet, mainly because it's not Del Toro's cut. It's not how he wanted the movie to come out, and um, that's why I'm a bit dubious about watching it. But I do know Doug Jones, who does most of the monsters and creatures in um, uh, Daldora's movies. He's Abe Sapien in Hellboy. I know that he is um, in this as well as one of the creatures, so I'll have, to, I'll have to find the time to watch that. So yeah, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. That's Mimic. And next we've got The Devil's Backbone, which has got to be one of the best ghost stories there in. Um, there's just so much going on in this movie. Um, you might, if, if you can get on the Spanish version, it's called El Espanazo del Diablo. Uh, the living will always be more dangerous than the dead, which this movie proves. Um, there's so much going on in this film. Um, I don't want to ruin anything for you, but as with a lot of Del Toro's movies, it's set against a uh, Mexican Civil War or strife in Mexico, obviously, is where he's from. Um, all I can say is if you like your suspense and your ghost stories, don't bother with things like the others. Get this, because it's amazing. Very, very stylish too. Uh, and also, it, it makes bombs scarier than, than bombs are. <laughs> right, next we have probably, after Hellboy 2, his most famous movie that not a lot of people know he directed, which is Blade 2. Um, not my favourite in the Blade series because the opening scene of Blade, opening scene of Blade, is never going to be beaten, basically. Um, but it's a hell of a good movie. Uh, I think, yeah. I think this is the one where he has to. No, maybe not. I can't. Yeah, this is the one. This has got Ron Perlman in it as well. It's where he. Um, has to join a group of vampires because there's these super uber vampires um, that are eating vampires and humans so he has to team up with his enemy to fight the new enemy which is quite a cool concept um, according to Del Toro he made this because he just wanted to make a comic book movie and I think he succeeded um, what have we got this side? oh this is double disc shows how long ago I watched it uh, not on that one not really much DVD uh, back um, yeah Good, good uh, bonus features on here. Got about the behind the scenes of the Blood Pact, which is the group of vampires, which are awesome. You've got to check that out for that. Um, and as always, Wesley Snipes is amazing. Uh, next, he did possibly 
one of my favourite movies. It rivals Hellboy 2 because of the... Uh, well, because it's the first time you meet all the characters. But it's Hellboy. This is the uh, Director's Cut Collector's Edition. With a nice slip case there. Open it up. Open it up like that. You've got, we've got Abe on that one, Liz on that one, and Hellboy on the first one. And you've got the bad guys on there. Cronin, who is complete badass. Uh, nice little booklet as well, which... So yeah. Ah, it's all about them. I haven't looked at this. <laughs> it's all about the making of the movie. Some sketches in here, some stuff from Guillermo's own little sketchbook. That's good. Yeah, so yeah, definitely check out how I mean if if you like your comic books, check out the comic books by Mike McNero, which are well, rival the movies. I got into it from the movies, so one thing I did find though was the cinema trailers for this when it first came out were terrible. There was no way I was gonna see a movie about a big red guy with horns that runs around. And then the D V D trailer came out and I was like, why didn't I see it? I missed such an amazing movie. Watched it, and the obsession started. Uh, next, he did his masterpiece so far, uh, which I agree with most people. He pans a labyrinth, or El Labyrintho del Forno, which uh, this is the special limited edition Spanish version. Uh, I think it's numbered, but as it's not out of the um, cellophane, I don't know. Um, but I've seen the movie... Anyway, and um, if you like something a bit different, watch this. I mean, the horror of it, because it is—it's more of a fantasy than horror. But the horror it has nothing to do with the creatures involved in it. The horror is the human in it. Uh, as always, it's set on like a civil war, a Spanish civil war, or Mexican, or around that kind of area. And um, uh, without spoiling too much, there's a scene involving the butt of a gun that is so brutal. Um, that's the back. Uh, the music for this movie is amazing. The actor, uh, everyone, the cast are amazing. Just it's subtitled, which doesn't take away from it. If you don't watch subtitles, then um, you're missing out on a lot of good movies. But you definitely just if you want to see something, if you don't like it, then blame me. That's fine. But I think everyone should see this movie. That's the Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, next, this isn't uh, Del Toro's movie. It's The Orphanage. It's not his movie, he just produced it. Um, but it doesn't really matter anything he puts his touch on. is amazing. Um, really, really good, creepy atmosphere on it. And the story, actually, you want to know what's going on in the story, which is quite good in a horror movie, because a lot of the time you just you just get the feeling that um, you want to go to the core, or you want to see the next amazing kill, or... Uh, you just want the ending, but in that one you really want to follow the story. You don't want it to come too fast, you just want to know what's going to happen and know why all these things are linked together. Really, really good writing on that. And finally, um, his most recent movie is Hellboy 2, which I went to see at the cinema, obviously after the disappointment of missing the first one, and I was blown away. I mean, story-wise, I think the first one's a better movie, but in movie-making ways, this just... If, all I need to say is the troll market because anyone who knows anything about this movie a whole market of puppets of just these weird and wacky things it's incredible Ooh, what's that? there you go <laughs> believe it or not he's a good guy I'm the big baby of course don't want to wake that up oh crap I don't want Blu-ray what's the back obviously all the same people in it but you also get to meet Johan who is <laughs> amazing. They, they did him perfectly. Nothing like in the comics, but that doesn't matter because he's perfect. Um, also, you've got a bit of a love story running in with Abe, which is nice because he was sort of like a comedic um, relief to Hellboy in the first movie. And he's a lot more important in the comics. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're my um, Guillermo del Toro movies. I think I've got all the DVDs that are out. I think he did one about football in Spain that's going to be released, but I'm not too not looking forward to that one. But... Um, and he's got a movie that should be released on DVD soon called Splice, which he produced, which looks incredible, um, about a weird genetic creatures they made. looks really, really good. Look up that, because the screenshots of it, you'll want to see it if you're into the weird fantasy stuff. Um, and obviously now he's working on The Hobbit, and the movie of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, which is an American TV series that was amazing. 
Um, but yeah, rumours with the Hobbit, it, Hobbit is he actually wants to build the dragon Smog, so that would be awesome. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's my Guillermo del Toro movies. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, straight after this, I'm going to do a video about some DVDs I've got to watch. So yeah, check that out too. Thanks for watching and um, keep it creepy.